checking a patient glucose level over the first nine weeks and found the following data. The simple mean approximately 101.89. Well, how do you get that? Add all of them, divide by number of numbers. Let x be a random variable representing glucose reading taken from the patient. We may assume x is the normal distribution. So that's the key point actually we'll have to note down. We also know that standard population standard deviation is 7.5. The mean glucose level for the patient should be population equal to 96. Does do these data provide or indicate the patient has an overall average glucose level higher than 96? So a couple of takeaways here. A couple of important things here actually we have to note it down. So x has a normal distribution so that is the big one here and also we have to take this one here we have to take this one here and also this and higher than here you go so this and also also the significant level so these are the couple of key we have to take okay so now this is seems like asking about the hypothesis test so if you look for hypothesis test basically we need actually five steps hypothesis test so i'm going to explain them later on now what kind of test we're going to do actually are you going to do the z test are you going to do t test or one proportion z test so if we look into here this one says x has a normal distribution so regardless of the sample size as long as this one says normal distribution we have to forget everything so we know the population standard deviation we know the population standard deviation already and it is it is a normal so right away you're going to use the z statistics well so let's continue now what are the five steps so five steps is basically the first one should be the first one is null and alternative hypothesis first one is null and alternative hypothesis so let's actually write it down null and alternative hypothesis so null hypothesis is always the claim what is the claim the claim here is you know claiming about the po population so the claiming over the population is a mean population mean equal to 96. That's the claim actually. That is the hypothesis. So we basically have to say population mean null hypothesis h sub zero colon population mean is equal to 96. So we are saying that we are claiming population mean is equal to 96. So that's our null. All is equal. We assume it to be equal. Right away we have alternative. Okay. So while well, we have three alternative, but this problem actually clearly says higher than so we're going to take only the right tail test actually in this case so we're going to have in this case alternative hypothesis h sub a or h sub one or any other letter other than zero is going to be fine actually so we say mean greater than 96 that is done we have our hypothesis we have our null hypothesis we have our alternative hypothesis again First one is always equal and next one, it depends on what is in the question, is higher, so we put down greater than. So the next thing we do the test statistics. So how do we do the test statistic? I we already actually I already explained that we need to do the Z test. So if we need to do the Z test, so Z test is equal to a B formula table, you can find this out. The difference between sample mean and population mean over a standard error of the mean. So that's the Z test actually we're going to do. So we know pretty much everything. So let's underline it actually here. So we have this one, sample mean. We have population mean. We have population standard deviation. And we will also know n is equal to 9. So we got this one also. Look at that. So everything we know, all we do is just substitute. So sample mean is equal to 101.89 minus population mean is 96 over standard deviation is 7.5 over the square root of 9. So we can take any calculator actually. We can take any simple calculator is going to work. So well, you do division burn. So we put down 101.89 minus the population mean 96 over standard error of the mean. In this case 7.5. There is a fraction. So I'm going to put down a fraction button here. And there is a square root. I'm going to put down a square root here. And 9. Again, this 
enter so clearly we have 2.2.35 six notice that this is a z test we are doing so z test we must round to the two decimal places actually i want to show you why you have to round two decimal places so that is basically z test so this z test as you clearly see has two decimal places on the top so if you have a three decimal places it's not going to work so we must round to the two decimal places actually so we have to approximately we have to approximate it so it's going to be 2.36. So that's what, that's the Z test. Okay, now once we have that Z test, let's actually have some normal curve here. So what is the normal curve? Normal curve is, so that's going to be zero. And so 2.36, one, 2.36 most probably I'm gonna go up here and just to the right so just to the right here the reason we say right tail is is higher than as clearly it's higher than so we're looking the right tail so this is basically Z 2.36 two little two and it's not two and a half standard deviation actually is two and two point three point six standard deviation away from the mean well what is the area here what is the probability value actually what is the fee value so next step we're going to work out with fee value so next step we're going to do the fee value so how do you find the fee value so we're going to go to the t z table sorry about that we're going to go to z table and look 2.36 and let's see what does it give give us Remember, our Z table doesn't give area to the right. Z table always give area to the left. So you have two options. Either you can look into the opposite, negative 2.36, or you go right in this one and subtract from one. So either way, I'm going to show you actually on here, clearly as you see. So again, 2.36, so this is the Z. And if I go to the opposite one, 2.36, 2.36, as I see, at down here that's a 2.36.0091 remember i look into opposite one now and that makes sense actually it's you know little less than one percent but if i look into the positive side look what happened if i look into positive side 2.36 2.36 2.36 look it's 99 percent 4.9909 so we have to be very careful. 0.9909 is basically on the left side here. It's basically to the left side. You're interested to the right side. So either you can subtract from one from this, this from one. So it's basically giving us the fee value. It's giving us the fee value. That's a fee value, which is 0 0.0091. And that is basically this fish here fee value so that is our fee value our fee value is 0 0.0091 again we have to be very careful if you look area to the right we have to subtract from one or you go to the opposite table to get the area this little fit little bit piece so again i can go down here to the left you know opposite one negative 2.36 2.36 as you see 0 0.0091 or 1 minus 0 0.9909 enter yep so that matching 0 0.0091 so it all depends on how you look into the z table again z table gives area to the left only this area then you subtract from 1 okay so we have that fee value now the next thing we do is we go to the decision so how do you decide whether you're going to reject or we are going to fail to reject so we would love to see a fee value a fee value less than or equal to alpha reject the null hypothesis reject null hypothesis 
So let's take a look here. It's a phi value. So this is the phi value. Well, what is the alpha? Alpha is a significant level, as you see on the top, is 5%. So well, which one? Is it, it? This one is not more than 5%. So it's less than 5%. So guess what? It's less than. So therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. So we basically rejecting the null hypothesis. Reject the null hypothesis, or I can we can write down in word also. Well, also, I want to make sure that, you know, we understand. This one, you kind of have to memorize it. But if you look into here, we have a threshold, 5%. Okay? So, this one, this number, this probability, actually, this probability is all the way to the left here. It's, it's all the way down here, somewhere here. We have a 5%, but this one is outside. So, it's outside of the housing, actually. So, it's, it's some critical reason. So, therefore, we have to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, alpha, which is a significant level, 0 0.05, we always convert it to percentage, so we say 5%. So we say 5% significant level. 5% significant level. The data does or does not, does not. So look at this here. It does, it's going outside, so it does. We are rejecting actually null hypothesis. So does Provide sufficient evidence to conclude. This is going to be the last sentence, actually. Conclude that the fashion. So, well, how I come up with that? Just the last sentence. That the fashion is overall glucose level higher than 96. And that is going to be nice enough for my conclusion. That's all. That's always true. What about the percentage significant level? Alpha. Convert to percentage. And this one is does or does not, depending on if you reject it. If you reject it, it does. If you fail to reject it does not provide sufficient evidence to include, conclude, so you conclude that the fashion has an overall glucose level higher than 96. That's how we do the hypothesis test. As you see, six step, five step hypothesis test. Thank you.